in this place. Father, where the Spirit of the Lord is, you said there is liberty. Father, I thank you. I bless you for who you are. Amazing God, who is like unto thee, Yahweh. Thank you, Jesus, for your word. Thank you for this day. Thank you for the strength that you have given us to see a brand new day like this. Thank you for this wonderful week that is about to uh, uh, come to pass, Lord. Father, we thank you. We love you, Jesus. We praise you, Jesus. We thank you for your presence. Hallelujah. In Jesus' name, amen. To live again, you have no other, you have no equal. Now I'm forever God in red. Your sins are kingdom, your sins are glory. powerful God and his name is powerful. His name is Jesus. There is no other name than Jesus. Jesus is Lord. He is Lord. He is amazing God. He is a father. He is a friend. He loves you. He loves you unconditionally. Hallelujah. 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 Have no equal. Now I'm forever God you reign. Your sins are kingdom. Your sins are glory. Your sins are name above all name. What a wonderful name it is. What a wonderful name. Nothing a dog can stand against the name of Jesus. Because in the name of Jesus, every knee shall bow. And every tongue shall confess that he is the son of the living God. In the name of Jesus, the devil trembles. In the name of Jesus, illness begin to, uh, begin to disappear. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Glory, glory, hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. Before we start uh, our word today, I just want to say good afternoon to everybody who has time not watching football but watching us and listening to uh, New Hope Way today. My name is Naima Ahinkra, and um, I greet you in the name of Jesus. Jesus loves you, and so do I. I love you, and uh, I know that you are all good and in a perfect health. Hallelujah. So not to waste any more time, today our teachings, it's very wonderful, and it's about the names of God. Hallelujah. Isn't it wonderful to know somebody's name? It is just amazing. It is amazing to get to know somebody. Because, you know, like, if I see someone that I don't remember their name, it gets sometimes a bit hard to really call them from afar. And then um, you don't actually know what to say to them, you know? You say, hey, hey, but hey is a lot of people. But if you can identify the person by their name, that would have been amazing. Instead of you to say, hey, you could say, hey, hi, welcome, Felicia. Hey, hi. You know, so um, 
That's why we are going to learn about Jesus' name and its attributes. Because if you know it, you have power to communicate with the name, to call him whenever you need his, his help for that particular name. Because like um, in Ghana, if you are, I was born in Ghana, um, if you are born on Sunday, they call you Akosia. It represents the day that you were born. So everyone who hears that word Akosia means you were born on Sunday. So you are identified by the day you were born. So people intend to like you because they were born in the same way as well. And today, because it's about God, it's about Jesus and his name. His name intend to want to like, uh, you want to like him for that name because the name will have a meaning in your life. The name will change your ways. The names will change your prayer. The names will direct your prayer. The names brings anointing. That breaks yokes and bondages. Hallelujah. Isn't that amazing? I will just get on it. There is so much of his name. But we are going to start today. And then learn them one by one. You can always call the studio. In case you have any questions, 0161818206. Or you can call my personal line is 074-244-25011. My name is Naima. Once again, those who just join us, you are welcome. Jesus loves you. And we will start with the name of Jesus. I have here number one stated... Jehovah Mekadeshem. Jehovah Mekadeshem. When you hear this name, you think, whoa, what's that? It sounds so heavy. I know, because it's uh, Jewish. Mekadeshem. So, what does this Mekadeshem mean? It means the Lord who sanctifies. The Lord who sanctifies. You know, as a Christian, when you get born again, you are sanctified. It means you are dedicated to Jesus. You are appointed to be an ambassador of Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Uh, it says that you are clear from sins. It says you are holy, you are set apart. Hallelujah. Isn't that amazing? So, it is the Jesus who is our Macadisham? He is the one who sanctifies us, who makes us clean, who makes us holy. Hallelujah. He loves you. He loves you and he has sanctified, he has sanctified you. He has sanctified me. He has made me holy. He has made you holy because you believe in him. But if you don't know him yet, don't worry about it. We'll give you a chance to get to know him before the end of the program. Hallelujah. So, not to waste any time, um, if um, I tell you their names, I will still also show you where it is in the Bible, where a, 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 the meaning uh, shows that his name is Makadeshem, and uh, he's the Lord who sanctifies. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So, we will go to um, Exodus chapter 31. Um, that's where we will find the name Makadeshem. That is where we will find uh, the, the meaning and knowing that it's in the Bible. So Naima is not just saying that for the saying's sake, but it's in the word of God. It is written. And what is written is written. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus is Lord. So if you all... Pick your Bibles. If you have one, you are a good soldier. If you don't have one, next time, just bring one by so you could just read with me. Now I read. That is Exodus chapter 31 verse 13. Exodus 31 verse 13. It says here, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Very my 
Sabbath, I speak again. It says, Speak thou also unto the children of Israel, saying, Very, my Sabbath ye shall keep, for it is a sign between me and you throughout your generation, that you may know that I am the Lord that sanctified you. So he is truly, very here means, he uh, said, truly, my Sabbath you shall keep. It is a sign between me and you throughout your generation. Generation means family, your mother, your father, your grand-grandfathers. That's a generation. So the family tree, the family line, it's your generation. It says here, that he, the Lord was demanding from the children of Israel to keep the Sabbath. A lot of people will think, hey, what's a Sabbath? That word is big, I know. But the Sabbath is the day of rest. You know, remember when God created the world, he, in Genesis, he said, um, he created all things and then, on the on the sixth day that is let's say if you start from monday to friday the sixth day is saturday and god rested i know this teaching is gonna challenge a lot of you because a lot of us goes to church on sunday that's right but the sabbath if we check it properly god rested on the saturday and sunday is supposed to be the day that we start working again. But it doesn't matter. Jesus is still our Sabbath. So the day, it doesn't matter. But it does matter. It brings you blessings. If you know the right day and the right timing, God knows that. But don't worry about that right now. We will learn about that another time. But he said he wanted us to keep the Sabbath. The Sabbath means the resting day. The day you rest in Him. The day that you do not go to work. The day that you and your children will gather around and remember what the Lord has done for your grand-grandfathers. You know, the Jewish people will remember uh, how uh, they were taken from bondage from Egypt all the way to the promised land. They fought many nations. I was reading, uh, I was making a research this week. It says about... Um, 40, uh, 41 or 51, I'll get back to you on that. It's about at least 51 kings they had to fight, you know, just to have the territory that they have today. There were many, many wars. They, 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 ha they had to struggle. But still, the Lord was with them all the way from Egypt to Canaan. Being Israel today, the land of promise, the land of... Uh, uh, um, uh, uh, milk and honey that is the land that the Lord gave to his children and don't forget Israel is the firstborn of, of Jesus Christ he is, their, he is their brother and we are adopted so being adopted children today we are going to learn where our root is from because you know what we've been adopted into a family a family is a Jewish family and they are the descendants of Abraham. That's why we are being blessed today. We sing a song and say, Abraham's blessings are ours. It is ours through Christ Jesus. It is ours through the blood that was shed on the cross of Golgotha. You know, so we have obtained the adoption through this group called Israel or the Jewish people, the Aramaic. Yeah? So... Today, Jesus is saying he is the Lord who sanctify us. And we have found out in Exodus chapter 13, uh, chapter 31 verse 13, that uh, he keeps the Sabbath between us like a sign of a, a sign of a covenant through uh, the generation. So you keeping the Sabbath, it's a sign. It's not just you keeping the Sabbath. It's not just for you to rest alone, but it's a sign between you and your Lord Jesus Christ who sanctified you, who made you whole, who made you clean. Isn't that amazing? Isn't he a good God? He's a good God and he loves you. Hallelujah.
That's why he has sanctified you. That's why he has made you whole. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Not to waste any time to reference on what we just read. We will go to the book of Leviticus. I know a lot of people don't like to read it because it has a lot of calculation, but it's a good book. It has um, a lot of secrets in there. So if you will go to uh, Leviticus uh, chapter 20 verse 8. Leviticus chapter 20 verse 8. It said, you shall keep my status and do them. I am the Lord which sanctify you. His status here is keeping his commandment, keeping anything that he tells us to do. If he, he, uh, the, the, the Lord tells you to do something, you do it because he is your Lord who sanctifies you. He is your Lord who keeps you holy. So you have to listen to him. You have to obey him in Leviticus. That's what he's saying right here. So if you hear the the name Jehovah Makadishim it is the Lord who sanctifies you he is the Lord who makes you whole he is the Lord who makes you clean and clear from sin he is the Lord who has appointed you as a child of the most high God praise master Jesus isn't he good if you are praying don't forget to call him by his name he said uh, call me and I will answer you and show you the hidden things that you do not know. That's what he said in Jeremiah. But before you call somebody out of the public, out of the multitude, you must know their name. And his name here. If you want to be sanctified, just call on Jehovah Makadeshim. Jehovah Makadeshim will be there to sanctify you. To uh, wash you with his blood. To make you whole. To give you the peace that surpasses all understanding. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. And we will take the second one. The second one is Jehovah Chikenu. Chikenu. You know. So Jehovah Chikenu. Jehovah Chikenu. I know it's a bit um, hard for a lot of people. But uh, we will learn to mention their name. Just like you call my name Ahinkra. Shikenu should be easy for you, isn't it? Praise God. And the meaning hereof is the Lord our righteousness. The Lord our righteousness. For the young ones, you think, what's the righteousness, Naima? Righteousness is you being the same level with the Lord. Being uh, right standing with God. If I say right standing, because of his blood, you have access to the Father, just like he has access to the Father. Because of the blood, you can pray in the name of Jesus and God will hear you. And the Heavenly Father will answer you. He said, I will answer you and give you uh, the desires of your heart so your joy may be full because you are righteous because you are born again because you've been bought by the blood of the lamb because he has declared you righteous you are the righteousness of god in christ jesus that is what you are that is who you are I do not believe anything anyone says about you because you know what? The pressured blood had paid for the price. The price of your sins today, the one that is about to happen and the one that is about to come. You know, I did not tell you to sin on purpose, but it is available for you in case you make mistake. He's your righteousness. So in case you make mistake, do not forget that he had made you righteous. His name is Jesus. He, you are righteous. He is the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. His name is Chikenu. So I always call him um, uh, Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Jesus. Jesus. His name is Yeshua. Hamashiach. Chikenu. Hallelujah. Isn't he wonderful? In Jewish um, language, they call him Yeshua. Not Jesus is the same, but it's Yeshua, you know. So Jesus Christ of Nazareth. So Jesus Christ, the Anointed One, Yeshua Hamashiach Shikenu. So he's the 
uh, our Christ is uh, our righteousness. He's our righteousness. He make us get a right standing with uh, our Father. We can always go boldly, freely into the throne of grace because of his name, Jesus. Hallelujah. So now you know that Jehovah Shekinu means the Lord, our righteousness. Not to waste any time, we'll go and look it up and see where it is in the Bible. I will take you to Genesis chapter 15, verse 6. Because he was in the beginning and then he is the Alpha and Omega. We'll get to that. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus is the Lord. He, he is good and his mercy endureth forever. So Genesis chapter 15 verse 6. 15 verse 6 please. It says, and he, and he believed in the Lord and he counted it to him for righteousness. Who is he? It is Abraham he's talking about. He says, Abraham didn't know anything. He was from a pagan home. A pagan home is where they serve idols. But yet, whatever the Lord told him, he said, move from your, your kindred. Move from your family and go to the land that I will show you. He just quick his family and he said, you know, you guys, see you later. I know a God who is not a statue. He asked me to come and I'm following him. You must have think, oh, that sounds really weird. I know it was. It must be because there will be a lot of voices that will tell him that's not right. You are, you are not of your right sense. But because he is Jehovah Chikenu, the Lord is righteousness. He believed it and having counted it as his righteous, uh, him being righteous. Because that time Jesus has not died yet. So no one could have been righteous. But because of his faith in believing in the voice of the Lord and obeying the voice of the Lord, the Bible said it was counted to Abraham as righteous. So he became right standing with Christ Jesus. He had access to the throne of grace. Hallelujah. Isn't that amazing? Praise God. God said he'll make a way for you where there's no way. Because if he did it for Abraham, he will do it for you. Hallelujah. Oh, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. We love you, Rebecca. We wave you back. Mr. Usu, we wave you back. Hallelujah. We praise your holy name. So just to compare what we just read in the Old Testament, we don't want you to think it was only in the Old Testament, but it's also in the New Testament. And it says in Matthew chapter 6, Matthew chapter 6 verse 33, it's right there. It tells us about Jesus being our righteousness. The Lord, our righteousness. Jesus is Lord. Praise God. Praise Jesus. It said, But seek ye first the kingdom of God and his righteousness, and all these things shall be added unto you. Hallelujah. So if you come and seek Jesus and want to be part of his family, he said, The righteousness will be yours. And all things shall be added unto you. He is able to bring his, his, his promises to pass. Whatever he has said about you, trust me, it's never too late. He will fulfill it. Because he is a God that does not lie nor repent. Is he the son of man? No, he, he will not lie. He, whatever he has said into your life will surely come to pass. Hallelujah. He is the Lord, our righteousness. Praise God. Praise God. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. We will go to the other name. He has so much names. And we would like to get to name, know him personally with them. Jesus. The next one is El Roy. L Roy L when you see the word L it stands for God himself L L Roy 
is R O I. So it means the God who sees me. Hallelujah. Isn't that amazing? It is the God who sees you. No matter where you are, every cage that you are in, the Lord sees you. The Lord recognizes you. He knows you by your name. He knows you by your tribe. You are not insignificant. You are very important to him. He knows you. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Hallelujah. We will go to Genesis chapter 16, verse 13, to find out what he says there about God sees you. <laughs> Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. I know today has been a lot of scriptures, but it's because we want to confirm where his name is from and how he got his name. That's why we are giving so much. So if you have a pen and a paper today, write them down because I know one day when you are praying, you will need one of these names to push your prayer a little faster. Hallelujah. Because you know what? If you call me by my name, I respond quicker because I know it was me you are talking to. That is the same way with God. Call him by his name. Recognize his word. Let him know that you know him by his word. And tell him, Lord, you said it is written. It is written. You said. He said, speak my word back to me. Speak his word back to him. Because he is God. And he will never leave you nor forsake you. Hallelujah. You are a child of God. A child of God. I am a child of God. You are a child of God and he sees you. His name is El Roy. El Roy. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Genesis chapter 16. Genesis chapter 16. Genesis chapter 16 verse 13. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. So, it says here, And he called the name of the Lord that spoke unto her. That sees me, for she said, I have also here look after him that sees me. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. This is Hagar. Hagar is a, was a servant of um, Sarah or Sariah. When... Um, Abraham and Sarah went to Egypt. They came with the maid servant, and her name is Haggai. And Haggai um, bore a child by Abraham because you know how we human beings are not patient to wait for the promises of God. So they thought they could help God a bit and let a servant of uh, Sarah begin to you know have a child for abraham so abraham could have a child because abraham did not have a child then and god had promised him that his descendants will be more than the sun by the seashore well, you know when you go to the beach the 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 sun there is a lot so he thought how is god gonna do it when my wife sarah is already 90 year old and i am 100 how is this possible? Let me just give God a little help by getting me another wife. So that's how Haggai became um, the mother of um, Ishmael. Ishmael. So a lot of people call it Ishmael, but it's Ishmael. So, and um, that one came to pass. But um, here, Haggai 
was sent out of the house of Sarah because then Sarah had had Isaac and it would have brought a lot of confusion in the house so they had to let uh, Haggai and his son go and the only way to do that I know it wasn't fair but it's because it was not a promised child but God being so merciful he still took care of Haggai and Ishmael he took care of them in the desert when they were thirsty so Haggai cried unto the Lord and he said here he said and he called the name of the Lord he called on El Roy he said Lord that spake unto her thy God sees me for she said I have also here look after him that seeks me that sees me he sees you he sees you no matter what situation you find yourself into just like hey guy or whatever it is no matter how messy it looks God sees you he knows where you are he knows where your situation is and he is a deliverer he is the uh, um, El Roy if you call upon him on your situation no matter which desert you have found yourself in that you are so thirsty that there is no help when you look left or right there is no help from anywhere else we, uh, the Bible said where cometh my help and I know my help cometh from the Lord and your help cometh from the Lord who sees you hallelujah praise God praise master Jesus he sees you he knows you he knows where you are at he knows where you are at in your situation I know it is tough you might be single taking care of a lot of kids the budget doesn't add up but the Lord said to tell you today he sees you because his name is El Roy El Roy he is calling upon you he's saying call upon me for I see you I don't care how you got yourself into that situation I don't care whose fault it is but I'm here to get you out of your mess glory be to God hallelujah Jesus is Lord and he loves you he sees you wherever you are He has found you. He sees where you are. He says who you are will never change. No matter the situation that you have got yourself into. Kate, whoever and whatever, I don't know where you are listening from. Are you with the bad friends? It doesn't matter. Call on Jehovah. He will, he will answer you. His name is El Roy. Whatever situation you have got yourself entangled into, I know you must be in a, a, a deep problem right now. You think there's no way out. There's always a way out. He said you will make a way where there seems to be no way. He is your helper, your redeemer, your ancient of days. He will help you. Hallelujah. Call on El Roy and he, he will help you because... He is God who sees you. If you go to Matthew chapter 6 verse 33. It's. Um, uh, sorry. That is. Um, we are going to. Um, uh, Psalm 33 verse 18. Psalm 33 verse 18. Psalm 33 verse 18. He is the God who sees you. He sees you. He sees your situation. He knows your matter. He sees you wherever you are. Whatever mess you are in. He said, He keepeth back his soul from the pit and his life from the perish by the sword. Oh, Jesus is Lord. Let's go to, sorry about that. Psalm 33. I was on the wrong side. Pardon me. Psalm 33, 
18. They said, hmm, keep some bringing me back to the same place. Praise God. Praise Master Jesus. He is the God who sees you. He sees you no matter what. No matter where you are. If you will call on his name, he will hear you and rescue you from the pit of hell. He will rescue you from the dungeon. He will rescue you. Hallelujah. Jesus is Lord. It says, Behold, the eyes of the Lord is upon them that fear him. Upon them that hope in his mercy so god's eyes is upon you told you he sees you it says it's very clear behold the eyes of the lord is upon them that fear him upon them that hope in his mercy are you hoping in his mercy because his eyes is on you he sees you wherever you are in your life right now wherever you are today he sees you wherever you are right now he sees you so if you hope in his mercy his eye that sees you will draw you back out of your mess out of your problem wherever you are but if you are happy he sees you and he sees you praising him as well he sees you worshiping him and he does appreciate it because you make him big. You make him big. Remember my testimony? The more you sing and you praise his name, his eyes is on you. He sees you and he, it makes him, he habit the praises of his children. He loves you. Hallelujah. So that is Jehovah God. His name is El Roy. Hallelujah. My name is Naima Hinkra, New Hope Way Ministry, loves you. I see you. God sees you. Let's go to the next one. If you are praying and you want victory, there is a name for you. He is a God, our victory. And his name is Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah Nisi. The Lord is my banner. You know why I said it's victory? You know how um, when we go somewhere, we'll see a company's name and they write, let's say, um, uh, New Hope Way, and then the flag is just waving and waving. You know what? The victory of that business coming to life. So you see a lot of companies have a flag but when you go to the churches some of the churches when they are praising and worshiping God they will use the flag just to wave you know in the realms of the spirit heaven is is just rejoicing because when they see the flag they see victory in your life they see joy in your life so that that banner that banner stands for Jesus himself he is Jehovah Nisi the Lord my banner so if he is your banner, he is your victory in times of distress, begin to wave your banner. Begin to wave your hand. Begin to wave your handkerchief. You know how we wave handkerchief and, uh, you know, we begin to wave all kinds of pieces of cloth just to show our gratitude to Jesus because he's Jehovah, our banner. He is my banner. I know he is your banner as well. And you have not seen victory in your situation. Do not give up yet because Jehovah Nisi, he is available to you. Call on his name and he will answer you and he will show up on your behalf. Praise God. Hallelujah. And this one you can find it in Exodus chapter 17 verse 15. Exodus chapter 17 verse 15. Praise Master Jesus. Hey, Rabba, Ndebe, Ha, Hey, Father, we worship you. We thank you. That's what I said. If you do not understand what I just said, it says, Lord, we praise you. We worship you. Oh, Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. So, there we go. Exodus chapter 17, verse 15. 
it says here, and Moses built an altar and called the name of it Jehovah Nisi. Jehovah is my banner. You know what? Ah, Moses. You know, because the they had issues with some people called the Amalekites, and you know, they won from the war and the stress that time. Joshua was their leader, so Joshua is the one. That went with them through the whole time. They won, they won, they won again. Because when they were at the battlefield, uh, Moses began to lift up his hand. Because God instructed him to lift up his hand. And the minute his hand is going down, then they are losing the battle. But if his hand keeps on staying up, they will have victory, 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 victory. So God's hand is up for you today. Keep it up. Keep it up because your victory is on the way. You are having victory right now as I'm speaking. Victory is in your way. Victory is in your situation. Your victory is in your school. The victory is in your working place. You know, Moses' hand begin to be numb. You know how you keep your hand up? And then you, it gets tired. But then they have to find a way to chuck his hand with some rocks, you know. And hold it up. Make sure he keeps it up because we don't want to lose here. And when they finished, Moses built an altar for the Lord. And he called it Jehovah Nisi, the Lord, my banner. Praise God. Isn't he amazing? From the beginning to the end, he is God. He is a good God. Um, hallelujah. Um, I'm sorry to say my time is almost up. So those who don't know Jesus Christ as their Lord and their personal Savior, or if anyone have any question at all and you want to call, call me anytime you want. And if you want to support this ministry as well, you can always call me anytime. Uh, 74 244 25011 um we love you we 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 know that jehovah nisi is on your side he will never leave you nor forsake you he is your banner and i love you he is my banner he sees you he sees me he's the lord our sanctifier his name is jehovah makadesh he is Jehovah Shikenu, that is the Lord our righteousness, and Jehovah Elroy, who uh, the God who sees you, and Jehovah Nisi, the Lord your banner. He is your banner. Wave your victory. You are you are on the winning side because the blood of Jesus has paid in full. He said it is finished. So if you don't know this Christ that I'm talking about, his name is Jesus. He died on the cross and rose from the dead on the third day. And he took the key of death and hell from the devil's hand. And he has entrusted that key to everyone that receives him as his Lord and personal Savior. And he gives them victory. He is their righteousness. He is the God that sanctifies them. So if you want to be sanctified, if you want to be righteous and go to the throne of grace boldly by yourself... Or you, if you want God to see you wherever you are, your situation or change your, your destiny. Ah, his name is Jesus. The Bible says no one comes to the Father except through Jesus Christ of Nazareth. You know why it is so? Because he has paid the price for you. He has paid the price that you were supposed to be paid. The price he paid was on the cross of Kogota. But before that, he was beaten. He was stricken. He was dragged on the floor. He was spit on. All for you. The Bible said uh, he was beaten for 
your, your healing. By the stripes you are healed. The chastisement of your peace was upon him. So that's the punishment that you were supposed to receive. It was brought upon Jesus. He carried all our load and brought it on the cross. He was crucified and on the cross. You know, in, um, in a Jewish tradition, a curse is anyone who is uh, crucified on the cross. That means you've been cursed. Uh, curses upon your life. People sham you. They spit on you. You know, your whole family will be talked about. Uh, everyone will know that someone was crucified. Shame will come upon you. You know what? That shame was not for the Son of God. It was for me and you. But he took it upon himself. And he said, I will do it for Naima. He said, I will do it for Abna. He said, I will do it for John. Because he loves you. He loves you so much. He died on the cross. He was whipped. He was beaten. Uh, they used a spear and pierced his, um, he, he, his ribs. Before he died, blood gushed out. Even God himself, being the loving father, turned his back against his own lovely son and said, I do not know you. He closed him himself up. There was darkness everywhere. He called upon his father. He said, Father, Father, why have you forsaken me? He forsook his own son because of you and me. Because he loves you. He took upon himself. He went to hell. He went to hell for you. For uh, on the third day, he came out of hell. Took the power that Adam and Eve lost to the devil. And he brought it to you. For that power, it's in your hand today. If you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and as personal Savior, the Bible said you shall lay your hands on the sick, they shall recover. You shall preach to the, those who are not sound in their mind, and they will be healed. You shall lay your hands on the sick, and they shall recover. If you believe the power of Jesus Christ, you know that it is the name that saves. It is the name that uh, delivers. It is the name that will rescue you from your your problem he is the name that will make you righteous because without righteousness you can't see the father without righteousness you can't go to heaven heaven is not is not for the the children of disobedience it is for the children of obedience that means children who are righteous it is for those who believe in jesus christ as their lord and their personal savior so he, in other words He's our Messiah. He's our Savior who came to die and save us from our sins. Save us from going to the pit of hell where the fire burns all day long. And there is torment. There is pain. There is agony. There is thirst. There is all kinds of stuff that you cannot even imagine. There is suffer. A suffer is uh, it's like um, a melted butter. But this one is hot. It's so hot, it can tear off your skin. I mean, animals will be crawling in, the, in your skin if you go down there. But that one was not meant for you. What was meant for you was heaven, the street of gold, where it, 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 there is singing, there is joy day and night. Even flowers have voices, they sing. I mean, everything. Can you believe you will eat and not wash your own dishes in heaven? I promise you, it, it, it is a place you want to be. It is a place of fun. It is not a place of boring. It is a place where your heavenly father is. There is joy. There is fullness of joy. Jesus is funny. I have seen him. I have uh, had encounter with him many times. He is fun to be with. That is where you want to be. So do not forget. Jesus is touching your life. So if you want to get to know him, I will lead you to Christ right now if you are ready. Say, Christ Jesus, come into my heart, be my Lord and my personal Savior. Today, write my name in the book of life and rewrite my name in the book of life. And cancel it from the book of death. I am yours. I cannot save myself. Save me please Jesus. And you are saved. And now you can call him Jehovah. Shikenu. You can call him 
Jehovah Makadeshem. That means the Lord that sanctifies you because he has sanctified you. You were born again if you pray that prayer with me. And Jesus is rejoicing. There is party in heaven. Your family members who are in heaven are rejoicing. I am rejoicing with you. Welcome to the family of God. I love you. I love you. And Jesus loves you. And do not forget his name is Jehovah Shikenu. He is the, uh, he is the Lord of righteousness. He is Jehovah Nisi. The Lord, your banner, you have victory, victory upon victory is coming your way, and they are there right now. I declare and I decree that this week you will see Jehovah Nisi on your behalf. I decree that the God of Eroy has seen you in your desert. He has recognized your situation. Jehovah Chikenu, the Lord, your righteousness is right there beside you. you he has given you access to the throne room of grace and he is there for you. Jehovah Makadeshim, the Lord that sanctify, sanctify you has made you whole, pure, washed you with his blood. You were born again Christian and if you die today and you go to heaven and Jesus asks you, why should I let you in my heaven? All you can say is because I believe in Jesus Christ as my Lord and my personal Savior and the gate is open wide for you. Hallelujah. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus. Jesus. Jesus is Lord. Jesus is Lord. I'll leave you with music and I'll see you next week. We'll continue don't forget to bring a pen and a paper so you can write down everything and when you are praying, look upon it and know that um, Jesus, who loves you, is your righteousness. See you. Bye.